Got business here? This is a restricted area. State your business. Or you're a Legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Give me one good reason I should let you through. I wish I could tell you, but we've had so many replacements lately I couldn't be sure. Go in and look around if you want. Try not to make any trouble. There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1, maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. <sighs> Jerk-offs. I ask myself the same question all the time. But energy is hard to come by around here. Gives you more control over this area than troops ever could. Hell. If we lose the dam to the Legion, this little plant may be our last stand. Later. If the... We should be up on the front lines, not out here in Bumblefuck. This place is a junkyard. <laughs> That scientist we hired has got to be the dumbest asshole I've ever come across. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? Then we have that in common. Whom do you typically work with? I would, but I wouldn't want to influence your answer. Then for everyone's sake, I hope you serve a worthy master. Are you a maker of war or peace? Ah. But there's no avoiding it. You can only outrun the choice for so long. Take now, for instance. You're inside a facility with lost technology, some of it very dangerous. Unless you turn and leave right now, you'll be very much involved in the lives of people you've never seen or met. I don't entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors, a code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. 
Yes. And the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. A weapon based upon it would be catastrophic, no matter who claimed it. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. They weren't here for me to ask, but I doubt they were here for electricity. When the NCR first came here, it was under Brotherhood control. They usually steered clear of one another, but something here changed their minds. The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapons. It's likely they were trying to reclaim Archimedes when the NCR arrived. Not yet. By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. He spent months working at one console trying to get the solar reflectors to track the sun. What he doesn't know is that the only thing the console controls is the plant's intercom system. I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest console had to be the most important. Still, it's only a matter of time. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. If you're the one to restore output, then you can route the power where you choose, and they'll never be the wiser. I can't get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. You'll need it. Oh, the NCR has their own designs for it, no doubt, but resist the urge to send it only to the thriving communities. The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. I'm a man of letters. I'd be torn to pieces by the security system they have in that tower. I'd never reach the mainframe. But eventually, the NCR will. Or if not them, Caesar's Legion. They will use this place for war. Because the possibility exists, you might do anything else. You're the only choice I have. I was sent here when we saw that the NCR had taken it. We have no record of the facility, but its original builders were cause for concern. I am to determine the threat level of this place and do everything in my power to prevent the revival of any dangerous pre-war technology. The NCR let me stay because they are desperate for answers about this place, but I've kept them in the dark. Humanity lost many things after the war. Methods of agriculture, techniques for survival. We took it upon ourselves to piece together this knowledge and bring it back to them. Other things weren't lost, but were blocked from our collective memory. Knowledge of what we're capable of and how things spiral out of control. It's in our nature to want to forget truths that keep us awake at night. And for that reason, it's all the more important that the followers walk the ways to remind people of them. We did for a time, but our goals differ. The NCR only cares to expand their wealth and their reach. For us, territory boundaries mean nothing, and prosperity has to be for everyone not just citizens of the NCR. So parting was inevitable. While the NCR pushes east, we clean up the mess they leave behind, try to provide some stability. We're scattered mostly. We go where we're needed. Our largest presence is in Freeside at Old Mormon Fort. Other than that, I know Dr. Usanagi set up a practice near the Crimson Caravan, and a man we trained is operating out of the Aerotech building. Another man, Tom Anderson, was looking into water supply problems in Westside. But that was a while ago. Goodbye.
Bonum Hobby, I'll stay to Ishvin for winter. Company. So, Peter. 